Hibs had their midweek £420,000 signing on display at Rugby Park. Pat McGinley was back in the colours of the Easter Road Club after his 15-month spell with Celtic. And McGinley wasted no time in showing the Hibs fans what they'd been missing. He ran more than half the length of the field before sending over a cross for Michael O'Neill. But he could only head into Bobby Geddes's hands. <laughs> Hibbs' best chance of the first half was started by O'Neill. He found Graham Love wide on the left, and the fullback took advantage of a slip by Ali Mitchell, but he fired his shot across goal and behind. Killy had their moments too. John Henry just managed to keep the ball in play. Tom Brown turned it back, but Colin McKee fired wildly over. Next, it was a turn of Tom Black to threaten the Hibs goal, but Jim Layton just got a touch to push the ball wide. The second half was just a few minutes old when O'Neill's corner caused problems for Killy. Michael Weir took control and fired on target, but McPherson was on the line to clear, and O'Neill's effort was blocked too. Hibbs kept up the pressure, Weir's cross, but it was cleared only to Pat McGinley, who tested Geddes from 25 yards. But neither side could find a way through their opponent's defence. Substitute Bobby Williamson almost managed it, crossing for John Henry, but the effort flew wide. Hibbs tried again at the other end. Hamilton put Darren Jackson clear. In on Geddes, the keeper saved one-handed, and Whitworth headed over to safety. No goals in this game.